Just had a few minutes in the day here, John. Thought I'd just send you a video. I know you guys can't make it in uh, very easily being out in Predator. So I thought, you know what, I'll just send you guys a video just to have another peek at this car. New technology when it went into the daytime uh, uh, running light here. It's kind of a solid LED, so to speak. Uh, yeah, you don't see the little dots like a conventional LED. And these headlights, uh, new technology again, uh, super bright, uh, compact. Uh, the way it's designed, they could tuck them right in the front of the fender because you could see the tires right there, so they're not as deep as a conventional uh, headlight. Pretty cool, I don't know if you can make it out, but you can see a Lexus imprinted there on the top. Even looking at the lights inside, uh, probably doesn't make it out, but almost looks like uh, crystals. And that grill. appears to almost be melting down at the bottom. Performance package, 21 inch rims on it. Let's get into the trunk. I know that was kind of uh, something you wanted to come check out. Quite a nice storage. That yeah, comes with the rubber mats as well. Put your cargo net in there. Put your first aid kit. Even uh, nice and deep on the sides there. Want to get a set of clubs in there. Definitely get a, a few smaller suitcases in there for the uh, cross Canada road trip you're talking about. This little button here to open the rear trunk. Those tail lights, kind of uh, uh, designed after an afterburner on a jet, kind of 3D like when it's lit up, it looks like it's uh, uh, got a lot of depth to it. It looks really cool. And the exhaust, your rear backup LED lights tucked underneath there. See the thin brake light up top. This uh, design is kind of a Japanese influence from one of their uh, famous swords there. You can see with the tip. Door handle pops out, kind of cool. Like even the little door uh, unlock lock display kind of illuminates when you press the button. Of course, we still have the plastic in this one. Beautiful carbon fiber in the door seal. Just such a nice job in the interior. Just using a nice combination of different materials, textures. Just hop in it here for you. Got your heads up display button there. You could open the, the trunk as well and pops your uh, fuel cap. You could adjust the brightness of the gauge with those buttons. Got your uh, traction control, snow mode if you want to access it there. Kind of a cool feature here. It's kind of the LFA inspired where you could change it to your normal uh, comfy eco or sport S, uh, S plus mode. Beautiful paddle shifters. And these steering wheels are something else and these Lexus is so comfortable. Oh, and that sound. Dash looks pretty cool when it lights up. Even the knobs, uh, just strategically designed and placed, just kind of flows with the interior. the button for the glove box. As you can see the door handles kind of got that uh, Japanese sword theme going on. Got a nice handle here. 
pretty cool uh, operation for your stereo, your power and your track and your tune buttons are there. Of course your uh, Lexus pad, your cup holder. Cool thing about this uh, sports car, uh, loaded with luxury and safety features. Got your uh, dynamic radar cruise, your uh, lane keep assist, obviously all your Bluetooth steering wheel controls. I like this when you're switching the different drive modes, the bezels change so you kind of get used to uh, what mode you're in just by uh, looking at the speedometer. You got your blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, parking sensors. It's not just a fast, uh, comfortable luxury car but obviously loaded with a lot of safety features where some sports cars delete that kind of stuff. Also got the, the brake hold feature, automatic electronic park brake, pretty cool function. And like I said, it's uh, the first model uh, of Lexus which has the N form. I'm not sure you can make it out, but here's the SOS button there. If you get into any accidents or uh, bad spots, you could uh, uh, dispatch you know, uh, RCMP or ambulance. It's got destination assist. It's got apps, so you can check your uh, stocks, you can check your favorite sports teams. Uh, yeah, first car uh, the Lexus offered in Canada with the N-Form uh, system, so. Of course, Mark Levinson Stereo. Mark Levinson wanted to put one, uh, one you know, his stereo in one automatic, or sorry, automobile uh, manufacturer. A lot of people additioned. Uh, he's internationally known for making home stereos and he chose Lexus above everyone just because of their uh, quality of uh, materials and uh, sound that the, the car uh, produces. So pretty excited to have him making stereos for the top end Lexuses. Well, hopefully this video uh, gives you another good idea of this beautiful car. Uh, we'll look forward to talking to you in the future. All right, see you later.